will actually get to see what a hands-on Reiki session will look like. Okay, so Marilyn talked with you about the, uh, the chakras, and I'm just going to briefly run through some of the characteristics of the chakras. She mentioned the root, um, and she said the color there was red. This deals with physical issues and also issues of survival. Um, she talked about the energies that we draw in to ourselves. That's what's going on here at the root. Um, then at your sacral center, um, she said the color was the bright orange. Um, the energies there are related to um, sexuality and creativity. And then the solar plexus. And the location of the solar plexus is below the rib cage. Um, and above the belly button, so right in here. Um, that color, of course, is the bright yellow, and this is the mental chakra. Um, it's also a center for power and control issues. So if a person's got some issues going on where they're in a power struggle, when you're doing that hand scan that Marilyn talked about, you're going to feel it in this area. Um, then we ta she talked about the heart center. And the color there was the green. Um, this is the center for love. Any kind of love issues like uh, family love, romantic love, whatever. The alternate color for that is pastel pink. And then we had the color light blue or sky blue at the throat chakra. This is the center for communication, but it can also be a center for career issues. So if somebody's got career issues going on, or if they've got communication issues going on, maybe they said something to somebody and they shouldn't have, or maybe they need to say something, maybe they're not speaking their truth, you might be getting some kind of energies at your throat chakra, like sore, sore throats and, and just kind of pain and stuff like that. Your energy system's reflecting what's going on with you. And then the next chakra is the brow chakra, or third eye. The color of that is indigo. Um, this is the center for psychic abilities, psychic insights, um, that inner vision, that sight beyond sights, um, intuition. And then the seventh main chakra is the crown chakra. And that's your connection with spirit, your spirituality, that spiritual wisdom. Um, when we think of kings um, wearing the purple robes, they wore, they wore the purple robes because it was believed that they were next to God. And the picture of Jesus, when you see him in uh, the transfiguration of Jesus, he's always in a purple robe. It's very spiritual color. That's why all the New Age people wear purple. <laughs> um, so that's just a, a, that's a very, very brief description of what the energies of the chakra is all about. Um, let's talk a little bit about Reiki and how one is able to pull down that vibration of Reiki, which, of energy, which is Reiki. There's all kinds of different vibrations of energy out there. Um, but imagine a radio. Right now, the country music station is playing. Talk radio's going on. The jazz station's going on. Um, we've got all kinds of different frequencies, but we're not hearing them. Well, <laughs> maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, so when a person is attuned to Reiki, it's kind of like fine-tuning a radio station to pick up a specific channel. Say we wanted to hear the jazz station. Well, we're going to fine tune that radio to pick up the jazz station. And that's kind of what your Reiki attunements do. They tune you in to that vibration of energy, which is Reiki. Um, I want to go over the hand positions very quickly. Um, you would start with, with hand positions covering the eyes. And when you're covering the eyes, you're going to be covering that third eye chakra. Then you're going to move one hand at a time to the ears. And then the crown of the head. And then you're going to have your person turn her head. You would slide your hand under. And 
you're doing the back of the head. And you can receive information about what's going on with the person when you're doing Reiki on them because you're tuned in um, to their energy system. And you can tell what's going on with them um, most of the time. Then your next position is going to be at the throat chakra. You can do it like this, or you could even do it like this. Now you'll notice I'm moving one hand at the time. I'm not sliding. Um, if I were sliding, I would be doing massage. And I'm not a licensed massage therapist, and I could the massage police could jump me and really get on my case. So um, we don't slide our hands. We don't do percussion. Um, and we just, you see, I'm just barely touching her. I'm not pressing. The Reiki energy is a flow of energy. You don't have to press. It's, it's a, it's a one-way flow. The next position is going to be at the heart center. And of course, I would, if I were doing a real session, I would be staying at these positions at least two minutes, sometimes longer. My next position would be the solar plexus. And my next position would be the sacral. What I'm doing is I am offering her this Reiki energy. And she is actually pulling the energy through me. So I, when we say what we're giving somebody Reiki, we're not really. That person is actually drawing that energy through us. And then the root chakra. And I could have I could have included the um, the liver and spleen, which would be right about in here. And as you can see now, I've covered her entire um, organ system and endocrine system. And then often we'll do the feet as well. Um, if intuitively I'm led to go to any other position on her body, I would do so. Um, because this is an intuitive art, and you sort of follow those little tugs and pulls and guidance that you have. If she came to me and she said she had a headache, and I felt like I needed to work on her feet, she would probably think I was nuts. She said, why isn't this woman doing my head instead of my feet? But for whatever reason, I would be working her feet, because that's what my guidance would say. So we want to begin at the neck and do the neck. Then we would go to the heart. Then we would go to the solar plexus, to the sacrum, and to the root. You could do it like this, or you could do it like this. And you see I'm hovering at this position because it is a private position. And I could do the back of the knees and the back of the ankles. And you see I'm covering some of those minor chakras as well as the seven major chakras. And you also notice I'm doing this kind of a motion. And that's because if I were doing it straight down the body like that, then I'm getting a pull in my arm there. And it just feels better to do an altering. Um, then I would want to brush down her energy field. And what I'm doing when I'm brushing down her energy field is I'm clearing out any kind of, of energetic debris that was released during her session. And then I always like to put a little fairy dust on the person as well. <laughs>